Hey, how's it going? My name is Jackie Fitch and welcome back to some more Imperator Rome. This is our Epirus campaign and as you can see, things are going pretty well. I would like to have all of Greece taken over and maybe we'll have to figure out a way to do that this episode. But we did manage to finish Pyrrhus' legacy. On his deathbed, he declared war on Mesopia and we went ahead and his son fulfilled his legacy and went ahead and conquered this boot of Italy. So we now have the heel and I guess we'll be looking to take more of the territory as we continue on. The economy is looking great now that we have this extra territory. As you can see, we are making a buttload of cash every single month. One of the things we're going to have to really pay attention to now, however, is the fact that we're going to have on loyal pops. You know, these guys are not going to be our culture. You can see that they're providing us quite a lot of unrest. So we're going to have to try and sort this out. And I think this is when the game starts to become really fun um, honestly because you know once you're conquering your own culture and you're assimilating them into just more of like your dedicated culture the game is pretty good but I think it's when you start expanding outside of these original culture groups if we take a look at them you know when you start taking over Latin culture and you start taking barbarian culture not just this blue line right here that's when the game becomes very interesting because now all of a sudden you have to worry about province loyalty because the pops are so unhappy and whilst you're assimilating them to become your culture, you're having to worry about this loyalty. And, you know, if this province loyalty goes below 0 0.33 or, sorry, 33%, you know, you can have rebellions, countries can secede. And that's what you've kind of seen over here in Phrygia. You know, all these countries have, like, broken away from uh, Phrygia. Also, Pontus are still here, which is good. Well, Pontus have been created. I, I still also can't believe how, uh, how insane Phrygia are doing right now. Uh, they are absolutely killing it because normally they break apart really quickly, but not in this campaign. They are holding firm. I don't want to change my piracy law because I'm pretty sure we've got a very good one going on already and it's making us a ton of money, so we're going to ignore that. Also, we can uh, start exporting to gain slave costs. So yeah, we're going to have to try and quickly sort this out. And I think the first thing we we'll want to do is try and bring something that will make people happy. Um, and I think precious metals is exactly right, that, right? Yeah, precious metals is plus 10% citizen happiness. Um, at the moment, you can see they are very unhappy. So let's import that from Egypt really quickly, um, which should help with some of the happiness. Again, they're still unhappy, but not as much as they were. And now they're producing a lot less unhappiness. Yeah, it's mainly, it's mainly the freemen who are producing a bunch. So maybe we could even just promote these guys up a little bit to have a few more citizens. That would also help with our research rate as well, uh, which we are looking to continue to boost up. Um, our fleet as well is also having a pretty good field day. They're fighting away, which is beautiful. But yes, for now, we are going to just keep on building up our forces, trying to assimilate these guys. And then I guess, I guess either go to war for more of Italy or go to war for the rest of Greece. Because this is like kind of the hub we want to secure. But that does mean fighting Phrygia. That does mean probably fighting Macedon at some point. So yeah, it's going to have some big wars, some scary wars. Um, because that is very scary. But they are broke. And they have no manpower. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see who we want to go to war with. I'll just let it play for a little bit though. And uh, do some internal stuff. Oh, this is a great tech we can just pick up right now. The extra Freeman happiness. 5%. We're definitely going to grab that because it's going to hopefully just make these Freemen that little bit happier. And it reduces the unrest overall, which hopefully will start boosting. Yeah, just with that technology we just got, we're now gaining province loyalty, which is really useful. I'm also going to start building some roads as well now. Um, if you guys have been watching the live stream whilst we're playing as Rome, we've been building roads everywhere. I want to have basically every fort connected to a road and every port connected to a road so that we have quick access to uh to securing this oh we just got a military tradition as well um enslaving efficiency is great because it means you get more slaves when you siege stuff so that's really useful also the siege ability though is very nice right the siege ability is very very nice it's 10 percent what else do we get down here but we want the mountain bonus right just so we're really effective in mountains makes our light infantry a lot better as well but, I mean, we're wrecking a lot of heavy infantry now. Maybe we go down... Oh, yeah, I don't know. I feel like we need to go down... At least. Oh, we'll get the siege ability. Because you lose most of your men sieging in this game, at least in the early game. So, it's always great to pick up, you know, just to make them sieges go a little bit quicker. 
Um, so yeah, let's just continue on building our roads. Why are oh, we have enough military power? It's fine for now. So we're going to build our roads. As I said, I want to connect them, obviously all the roads up to the capital and also have a big road going down to Sparta as well. So we'll work on that as well as just basically whilst we're waiting for our manpower to recover, we're going to go ahead and uh, um, I guess also this army needs an extra unit as well, which we can quickly grab. Um, but yeah, we'll do that. I also really want to sacrifice to the gods to boost our stability up to st uh, stability two. I feel like there needs to be more. Yeah, I really feel like there needs to... Oh, we just actually go minus, but I guess we'll do it. I feel like there needs to be more to reduce your stability. Because I feel like once you hit stability 3, you're very unlikely to go down to like get a huge hit of minus 3 stability or something, you know? Which really shakes your, your kingdom. So hopefully there'll be more events. For a second, I thought this was going to be... Um, this was going to be a... A Vember reduces my stability. Luckily, not though. So, yes, we've got a good road there. We'll build a road down to this port as well. And we should probably also build a fort up here somewhere because currently we don't have a single fort here. Do we have any hills anywhere? Uh, we can take a look at the terrain map mode. No, it's all farmlands, plains, and forests. Well, I guess we'll build a fort up here because at least if we go to war with the north, there'll be a border there as well. So, let's pick up a fort right there. It will cover and defend these three regions. I and mean, I guess if we wanted to... We could build another fort here. Not that I think we need to right away. Um, yeah, so for now, I think we're good. We'll just continue on building our roads now. And we'll work our way from Oh, there. yeah, something else I should really also do as well is actually just start assimilating pops. I know we are, we've got the edict here to assimilate pops, but we really should try our best. And I think we'll focus on the freemen first because they are the most unhappy. I wish you could actually look at the, the provinces whilst in this screen. Oh my god, there is a bunch of pops we need to assimilate there. Yeah, I mean, look how many pops here. There's a lot of freemen. And that's all our oratory right there, just doing these couple regions. But that will help out, you know. The quicker we assimilate them, the better. And we'll be able to what? Sorry. We will be unable to act against the family. I think that's fine. Yeah, sure, why not? I mean, I don't really have any plans to go against that. This guy is of a different family as well, so if I ever needed to do anything to him, which I don't, we, we easily can. So yeah, the assimilation is really good, but I wish you could actually just see, like, I, I wish there was more of a, I don't know, the, the UI was a little bit better there, because sometimes it's really hard to notice what's unhappy in certain regions. You know, when you're on this screen, and especially for building as well, I have no idea where the best place is to build the market or where the best place is to build a trading camp. I wish you had the EU4 style where it came up with, like, the stats of, like, just this province has so many freemen, so it'd be really good to build a trading camp here because it has the most freemen. I wish that was the case rather than kind of this system. And I'm sure that will come in future updates. It's just like it kind of would have been cool to have it at launch. But, you know, hey, you win some, you lose some. Also, something to really note as well whilst we're playing is aggressive expansion when you're not taking your own culture group, uh, which is like obviously this. So if I'm not taking anything here, um, things become a lot more uh, harder to gain with aggressive expansion. Also, we just gained lung disease as well. Don't think we are lung for this world. However, our son is preparing to take over leadership. He is 14 years old. He is bald, but he has really good stats. 7, 8, 8, 4. The two eights are amazing. The oratory is going to be great for converting and assimilating people. So, we'll, you know, I'm not. This, I'm actually going to kind of let this guy die instead of seeking treatment because I think I'm happy if he goes. Even though he does have nine marshal, but yeah, I think I think I'm fine for a new new leadership. Oh wow! So we're currently getting a like this province right here, which is really a faction I should have conquered a long time ago. Honestly, um, they're currently having a massive pretender rise to power. So really big like instability in their land and this current guy who is the leader of the land is asking for asylum in my territory uh, which would be nice because we would gain some legit legitimacy which we do desperately need however we could also mount him on a cross as well if we wanted to which I think is just kind of funny to do so and we would also gain popularity which we desperately need so mount him on the cross boys and yeah he hasn't died yet but I think at the end of the month he'll die we did just tell, say to mount him on the cross, so I'm hoping he will. But yeah, as you can see, there's 20 cohorts from a pretender army right there. He only has access to a handful of them. We, I didn't actually realize that my, my legitimacy is so low right now. Why is it so low? Support for pretenders. Um, Prophecy of Delphine. I guess that's pretty bad. We could increase it by 25, which I'm going to do. Um, just gain a bit of loyalty as well, because... 
that helps out quite a lot. We honestly just need to die and let the new successor take over because he's much better. We're 62 years old. I think we are going to fight a big war against Macedon now though. I want to conquer them and I, well, I want to conquer the rest of this territory. It's going to be a hard war because Macedon do have a pretty large manpower pool. Um, and these factions also have a decent amount of armies. But we have 20,000 soldiers so I'm sure it won't be too difficult to, uh, to beat them. Hopefully we have 20,000 down here in the south. Just kind of conquer these territories and then everyone else, you know, just move on. It's just, yeah, going to deal with Macedon is going to be hard. But if I can knock these guys out early, we can also afford some mercenaries as well. So we can probably pick up another unit of army of mercenaries. We won't be able to afford their upkeep, but we can buy them and then keep them around for a while. So we're probably going to buy some mercenaries against Macedon. Um, I think I'm, yeah, I'm just going to quickly prepare for this war against them. Try and knock out both of these armies right away. Um, unfortunately, I won't be able to build my last road through to this fort. Also, this fort is a level 2 as well, so it should hold Macedon's advances for quite a while um, until we can maybe reinforce or something. But ideally, we want to kill these guys right away and then focus on the north. Unfortunately, there's not really any good allies. If we look at our neighbours, there's no real good allies which are our rank besides Mesopia, um, who hate us, obviously, because we just declared war on them. That's much needed, holy crap. We need our popularity is so bad. But getting the extra legitimacy as well is also going to be very nice. Yeah, the tyranny isn't too bad because all I, all my generals, my general is, is our faction leader and also our son Pyrrhus for second. So, yeah, let's get our armies into place. I want to have a quick battle against these guys. We just got the next mill tech, which is perfect. Yeah, look at their mill tech though. Playing tall in this game is so effective. I think. Oh, they just made peace, so they disbanded their armies. Yeah, and Crete's formed now as well. Unfortunately, they're still a local power, though, so we can't ally them. Um, do we have our claims on these? Can we? Do we have claims already? No, we don't. And we also have military access, which we need to cancel. Can we get military access through this guy? Yeah, it'd be better to declare war on this guy, right? So let's, uh, let's settle our claims really quickly. And then get ready. Also, taking this will give us great war scores. So in this war, I want to hopefully we'll have enough to beat Macedon. Citizens for sure. Um, I want to finish. I want to secure these provinces off Macedon. So taking this, if we take and take this fort, we basically do that. And I want to obviously take the, the these parts of Greece as well. So yeah, I guess our manpower is recovered somewhat. Macedon have a lot of manpower, but yeah, I think we're just gonna have to go in for this. And we can always pick up mercenaries as well to help even the odds. It's just a quick battle right here, and then we'll move on. So let's uh, yeah, let's do this. Do that. Immediately move in here. Oh, they've actually managed to outplay me. I should have paused it and did it. It would have been better smarter to pause it and do it. Oh, yeah. We also need uh, to do some more resources as well. Oh, we can get so much. Now that Egypt like us, we can literally import everything from Egypt. We already have cloth, but having a surplus of cloth gives us a lot of resources. Is there anything else that would really help us out here? Horses would be great because then we could get light cavalry. That'd be amazing to get start getting some light cavalry on the go. Yeah, look at all the... This is literally all Egypt, I'm pretty sure. Glass is so good as well for income. Yeah, let's grab some glass from Egypt. Oh, it's actually from Frisia. Okay. No, I guess Frisia like us. I guess it's Frisia and Egypt. I mean, Frisia are oh, thick. Look at them, man. I've never seen this strong a Frisia before. Literally never. So let's constantly keep improving relations with them if we can. Um, and then, yeah, the, the war against Macedon will continue now. So we'll get a pretty easy battle here, I think, against these guys. Um, and I guess we're going to have to also move in and abandon this siege for now and just go and kill their army quickly before it causes us any issues. Siege v sieging out these should hopefully be quite quick because we do have a plus three to our siege roll. And we also, um, yeah, so we actually get a good chance. We have, I think after the first ticket, at least like a 5% chance of winning the siege immediately. We'll see as soon as this is, is taken care of. Um, yeah, so no, we don't actually have that quite yet. I think it's pretty quickly though we get access to that. I'm just nervous of Macedon massing a lot of soldiers and pouring in. Yeah, and they're changing a few of their edicts. Do we have anything we need to change? Oh, yeah, that's actually a really good point as well, is we've obviously unlocked new oratory ideas. I think we can maybe get rid of this and get research instead. Yeah, we'll get the research instead of loyalty to generals because we don't really need that. Motherfuckers are going to keep on fleeing from me. Hopefully, we can catch them. If we, as long as we just take both these forts... It should be kind of quick. Yeah, let's do that. And then if we need to, we'll buy mercenaries. We're making a good amount of money so we can actually afford mercenaries. 
But until we've dealt with this, I don't want to really buy any mercenaries because I'll be busy. Um, I'll be busy elsewhere. We're actually going to lose a lot of territory to all of their forts, but at least we're going to go in. This is our son, Pyrrhus's Pyrrhus, the second's first battle. And as you can see, he, he takes after his father there, moving in. Easy victory right there. Both in phalanx. They have crazy high discipline. And yeah, we'll take both these forts just so that this area is locked down. And then we'll move over and take this mountain fortress. It's going to be slow and steady, but once it's done, we can basically then just focus solely on Macedon. And by the looks of it, Macedon are forming up their armies first. So, yeah, they were up to 52 divisions. So with mercenaries, we can beat them. I mean, we can also arguably just build some more units, but I don't think I want to right away. So, yeah, I'll do these sieges, and then I'll bring it to you guys if Macedon do anything crazy. Oh, yeah, also, I think our fleet is... No, their fleet is bigger than ours. I was going to say, we could maybe uh, blockade them. But for now, our fleet can just stay in port. Oh, crap. Here we go. We've got a big force coming over here. Basically, the last remnants of their armies are trying to siege me out here. I'm pretty tempted to uh, let them. But, uh, you know, because then we get the river crossing penalty uh, bonus against them um, as well as the hills. Because they're right here. Mastodon have come down with a handful of soldiers. But nothing we have to really worry about. You guys go over here and finish them off as well. Because we should get the river crossing against them. Because if, if I'm... Oh, I can't even see. I'm pretty sure we get the river crossing against them right there. So that's good. Also, the siege down here is hopefully going to fall to us. We have a 36% chance of them surrendering already. So that's pretty useful. Do we have anything that really boosts our discipline? Yep, we need that discipline. 5% discipline right there. Boom. Macedonians are going to come in for a fight in the hills. I guess I'll take it. They also should be taking this very slowly as well, just solely because of it's a level 2 fort. So it should be having a pretty good defense against them. So that should slow them up. A big battle against the Macedonians. Luckily, they take a minus 1. And our general is a lot better. And we counter their bottleneck as well. So we should be slaughtering them right now. Yeah, we're killing. We're losing 50 and they're losing 170. Boom. And we just won that siege. Perfect. Um, so let's move our, our son over to take this 20 stack out. We'll let our main army replenish right here, the king's army. Do we need... The thing is, do we need these mercenaries? I guess it would be nice to save the manpower so that we could quickly go into another war against maybe these guys to the north of us or more of Italy. Oh my god, Messapia are the new Rome. I wonder if they can form Rome if they kill Rome because we can form Macedon um, right here if we want to. We can form Macedon. So, I mean, we're probably going to, right? Maybe not, I don't know. Maybe I'll see what you guys say. Um, but yeah, we can form Macedon if we wanted to. So maybe we will do that. Um, it's kind of cool how you can, you can tag switch like that. Why can't we walk through their territory as well? That's weird. Um, but yeah, I think we're going to pick up some mercenaries. Probably the more expensive ones, just so I can use these guys to fight them. So let's go down and look for a, a battle against Macedon now. Macedon are coming in for a huge battle right now. Yeah, they've basically got everything they, they have. Oh, and our morale is really bad. Crap, can we get out of this? I don't think we can. I think I might have messed up because the mercenaries didn't recover their morale in time. This is not good. Yeah, they're coming with a lot of soldiers right now. Um, we might still win this, but probably not once their reinforcements come out. So I might just retreat to save casualties. I don't know. I'm going to see if we can quickly win this. Because uh, we're doing a lot of casualties to them. If we can win this battle, then I want to try and retreat before their reinforcements turn up. Quickly get out of there now, yeah. I think we're going to fall back because I don't want to have to deal with these huge amounts of men. And obviously, we're going to be losing a lot just solely, um, just solely from the fact that our mercenaries haven't replenished. So let's quickly get back home. Oh, we also lost this in the north. Oh, wow. I did not even notice that. That's really bad. Um, so let's quickly get back home. Let's reorganize our, the armies so we can get our men back. Also, select these guys to go north as well. Holding the Olympic Games right now. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Um, so, yeah, Mastodon are putting up a, quite a good fight now that they've reinforced everything. We just need to, oh, I guess, take this back in the north, replenish our morale, which is probably what you guys need to do. Yeah, we've been kind of in carpet siege in the north, which is deadly. But we're about to take the war goal, which should be great. That should give us a, a big boost to our stats. We need to take back this uh, fort. And they are also attritioning pretty heavily here. And we're about to take the war goal as well. So, yeah, if things are going good and bad at the same time, I'd say. Okay, so I just won a really big battle down here in the south. But whilst that was going on, they also managed to catch me down here uh, at this fort. Obviously, because they have the fort, they gained the mountain bonus, which just made, meant that we had to fall back. If we can retake back this river crossing, I'll be much happier with our position. Uh, we also must have been draining. Yeah, their manpower has been drained, uh, which has been very good. I'm going to take the extra discipline because we desperately need it. Retreat back our army. Um, again, they're coming in for another battle. 
Oh, we're so close. We need to keep... We need to take back this river fort, I think. And our army just needs to keep on retreating back. Can we force March out of here? No, that's really bad. They're going to catch our army still. We're going to reinforce down here. Uh, naval attrition. We don't need that. Let's take this. And we do have... We do have a balance of power on our side. So maybe... If we can take back this fort, maybe we do just quickly try and peace out. If we can take back this fort, would they be, would they be okay with it? Because... No, Mastodon do not want to peace out. I guess because they hold so much of my own territory. Yeah, that's what I'd, I'd want. And they're... Yeah, we need at least 10 war score to demand. Oh my god, they're coming in for this as well. Oh my god, they, they stack wiped my army? Oh wow, that's so bad. Uh, we need to quickly take this then. And I can't believe they stack wiped us. That's really unfortunate. Well, we need to conquer back this river crossing and go and defend our capital. Hopefully this army is going to make it in time. Because it's going to be awful. If they take our capital and they sack it, that's going to be awful. I mean, they're sieging so much faster than us as well. How? Good commander, I guess. Like, this is going to be awful. If they take our capital, we are fucked. Let's hope that is not the case. They're going to take our capital before we can get back there. Oh, this is so annoying. How can they siege so much faster than me? Look how many people they just sacked from us. Oh, that is brutal, man. That is so brutal. Yeah, this has been a painful war. I can't believe I got stack wiped up there. It's so unfortunate. Yeah, they're, just, they're just taking so many of my pops right now. This is awful. Literally, look at all these pops. The entire north of our kingdom is taken. At least we've taken that back now, I guess. We're going to move up. I know we're taking a lot of attrition. Oh, I didn't stack quite me. Okay, good. I guess we're going to look for this battle against the Macedonians. Because we outnumber them. Yeah, sure. Let's go into this big battle against them. It's going to be an important one. So none of our tactics really play. We've got the same military. Our, our discipline is 10% more than theirs. Oh my god, we've got 5,000 down here. Just piss off. It's these sieges, man, which are really brutal. We're losing 500 more men a tick as well. How? We rolled a, oh, they rolled a 5, I guess. But our discipline is so much better. And yet we're losing double the, the men. Oh, it sucks. We don't really have much more of a manpower to support. To support that either. Well, we've taken that back. So we're going to have to send our mercenary stack down to deal with this probably. Um, and then the other two need to take back these forts. Like need to take back these forts. We need to conquer back for our capital obviously. At least the AI is also a bit busy as well. So yeah we'll send these guys down. Do these mercenaries replenish out of interest? I'm not sure if they do. Oh, the Macedonians are up here with more men as well. Can we get? We can't even get up here. No, I guess we'll have to move our soldiers down here to deal with this. Sending the Macedonians back, though, is great. Hopefully, we can quickly take back our capital. But yeah, this war has been so bloody, and we're out of manpower right now as well. I think we just need to try and get to 10% war score and peace out with them. Hopefully, we can achieve that, but yeah, I don't know. They're, they're, they just siege so quickly. Their commander, I guess, is just amazing at sieging. Oh, God, he's locked into that as well. Come on, you better get here in time. At least we're sieging that back fairly quickly. We're winning this battle nice. They're reinforcing. But we also have the 17,000 men turning up very soon. I guess we could even just pick up more mercenaries if we need to, as we don't have the manpower anymore. You guys should be able to arrive for this battle in time, and we still keep this. On, this is still occupied by us, right? Yeah, still occupied by us. We're going to win this down here. We can take back this fort in the south. We're going to take back our capital, deal with this. Yeah, losing this fort was just so catastrophic for us. It really was. Okay, so after a bunch of battles, I just thought you can see right here, we did manage to win a whole ton of them. There were some really important ones against Macedon. Um, I think it is now time to peace out. We don't have any manpower. Um, we can now peace out pretty effectively um, and take all of this territory. We won't be able to secure this island or any of the land against Macedon. But yeah, we made some big mistakes in that war, especially losing the north. Um, just put us in such a bad situation. And we've also got monthly war exhaustion now, which is obviously really, really bad. So let's just do that. If we can claim any money, they'll give us like a couple hundred gold, which will be good. Like 150 gold, 170. Yeah, they'll give us 170 gold and we can claim all of this territory. So overall, that's kind of what we wanted in the war. It's just, it was a very bloody one. Um, I definitely didn't play that as great as I could have. 
And um, we'll also now disband these mercenaries as well as we no longer need them. Oh my god, the mercenaries cost you so much to disband. Why do they cost you so much to disband? That seems kind of stupid. Like, I understand you want to have mercenaries and stuff. I mean, they can't, they don't cost me much, right? Yeah, I mean, they're not costing me much, so I guess we'll keep them. Um, yeah, that seems crazy, though. Does it, it cost you this? Oh, they're replenishing, or? Every month, they're replenishing. Yeah, it's, it seems kind of silly that now we're no, we're no longer at war, we have to disband them. But I guess it's kind of like a punishment, I guess. Um, but yeah, we, we took the extra land, so I guess it's not all bad. The war could have gone a lot smoother. The war could have definitely have gone a lot smoother. But as you can see, Epirus is looking a lot nicer. We do need to secure both of these islands. That is something we'll have to look at doing. Obviously, killing Sparta is also going to probably be on the agenda. But yeah, we brutalized our manpower in that war. And Maston won an alliance now, sure. I'll take an alliance with you, you fuckers. It was these guys as well. Whoever the, oh, yes, yeah, the, the Odyssey Kingdom up here. Because we we're also fighting these guys as well. And they had a lot of... Yeah, they had 70 cohorts. Sure, let's uh, ally with you as well. I oh, know we'll get too many relations. We don't want to do that. Um, but yeah, overall, that was, I guess, a, a positive war. But I could have definitely have played it a lot better. So we've just gone ahead and unlocked a trade route in all of these provinces. Basically an extra trade route for every single province that we have. So we'll start off with our capital. And I think immediately I either want to bring in Papyrus from Frisia. Because that gives us 20% research points. Which is just kind of crazy. Obviously this will have our most dense population. Also wouldn't mind getting a surplus of uh, glass to give us religious tech investment. Is also pretty decent. Um, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff I would like. The slave output as well is pretty decent. But I think we're going to pick up the papyrus here. Because that will just give us more research. And research is obviously good. Over here, we're still having a few... Oh, nice. Our son loses dysentery. That's great. Um, over here in Magna Grecia, we're still having a few unhappiness problems. So I'm going to go grab the dyes to make the citizens a bit more happy and that should sort out our province loyalty yeah our province loyalty is not going up massively now and that should allow us basically just to assimilate as you can see the assimilation is going pretty well so far so they're slowly turning to our culture um and then down here in the south i'm not too sure what we're gonna pick up right now um we have a whole range of stuff we can grab maybe more slave output or maybe just cloth for more tax because oh, we actually have an excess of cloth here already in this region then I think what we'll do is province loyalty isn't bad as well. We could actually put that in the other region. Maybe just glass again because glass gives us 15% commerce. And as you can see, we probably make a lot from here. So yeah, let's import some glass right here. And then our final one, we haven't, we don't have enough civic power. So I'll do that after uh, in a second. A new omen as well. Well, our money situation is great. We can probably field another 20,000 men. So I guess we're just going to focus on manpower for now. Who we desperately need. We're getting a lot of manpower if we tick now. We just need more. Um, I want to field at least another 20k stack. Which we, I think we can afford. Before we fight Macedon again in a big war. And I probably will just wipe out Sparta in a second. Nice we've gained a new thing. Uh, military colonies. I think military colonies allow you to take land that hasn't been taken yet. So like we can set, set up a military colony here if we wanted to. I'm not sure where else we can do that, but I know you can do it, and it's pretty powerful. But I think we'll pick up the enslaving and continue to go down this route, because we fought a lot of battles against Spa against Macedon in mountains. So if we can improve our heavy infantry ability in mountains, I think I'm going to take that. Yeah, so let's go get some better enslavement efficiency, because Macedon saved a stole a lot of pops from me, and I want to take them back at some point. I mean, we're allied with them right now, so I guess we shouldn't really been talking like this, but their time will come. Don't you worry, their time will come. Then down here, do we have cloth already? We don't have cloth, so I'll probably import some from Frisia. Um, yeah, cool. The only thing is, though, I want to fight Frisia at some point, but there's just no way we're going to be strong enough to do it because I obviously want to take this territory from them. But Frisia, thick man, they've got 150 divisions up and they're fighting some internals. They're conquering these kind of smaller nations now. They also own land up here as well. The Seleucids are also really strong as well. So it seems like the big empires are looking good. Oh, yeah, Frisia are now a great power as well, which I think is the highest rank you can get. Yeah, they're, they're the same rank as the Indians as well, so Frisia... Okay, time that. to finish off Sparta really quickly. We don't have any allies, so we're just going to move in and kill them and uh, quickly wipe out their forces before they can really do much 
Um, yeah, we'll move in. We are fighting into hills, but we have 20,000 against their 8,000. We have more heavy infantry, more light infantry. They'll get the hill bonus, but nothing too bad. Also, Mastodon have just called me in against Mesopia. I don't want to fight them. Mastodon are fighting over here. Oh, yeah, also Rome got destroyed as well. No, I do not want to fight in that, uh, that war, but yeah. Why are, why are Macedon fighting Mesopia? Oh, because they're fighting these guys. Okay, well, this is a great opportunity. We just have a truce with Rome. However, um, yeah, we want to sit here. However, we do just have a truce with Macedon, I should say, even. But how long does that truce last? Because now might be the perfect time. Because Mesopia have 80 divisions. Macedon, Macedon's going to use a lot of their manpower in this war. So maybe, I mean, how long? We have a truce with Macedon in for 10 years, right? No, we wow, we literally, our truce is, oh, I think it's because we already had a truce with them. So breaking our alliance with them is actually really good. That is dope. Also, Rome, oh yeah, I just said that. Rome is being like completely demolished. They only have, uh, they only have these two provinces left. They lost the city itself and we lost our iron because of that. But luckily we're about to get another bit of iron. And we also ha already have iron in our ghost as well, which I might actually try and do some faffing around with slaves to get some more. Not that we have many slaves in this region. But I might just literally move them all to Argos. Um, so that we can get more of the iron. Because if you have, I, I think it's like 14 of the same pop there. You get access to more, more of the resource. So yeah, we need 14 slaves here. Unfortunately, I don't think we have 14 slaves in the entire region. But maybe if we keep on focusing them there. We can maybe get some more. Yeah, we literally have, like, no slaves here at all. That's Frisian territory. And just like that, we have taken care of the Spartans. They are no more. Uh, I'm also really surprised that we are still alive. We're 77, and I'm pretty sure, we, yeah, we've had cancer for a while. We're going to die soon, but it means our son, who when he comes of age, is going to be not as, like, young as I would like him to be. His son is actually also really good as well. Our son's son is also really good. But nice, it's a bit more territory taken care of. I think we are now going to quickly go to war with Macedon again. Now that we don't have a truce with them, they're busy spending a lot of their manpower. I'm probably going to buy mercenaries again. And we're going to go to war with them um, yeah, pretty quickly, I think. Um, probably going to go to war for this faction because I want to obviously take this island and it'll also give me a reason to go to war with Mastodon without having to go to war with the Seleucids and Phrygia as well. So yeah, I might try and bring them into a border conflict, meaning I'm also going to probably hold on to get more discipline on my armies. Um, yeah, let's do that because I mean this war is going to be over soon, right? They are winning very convincingly. Yeah, they are, they are taking a lot of territory because I guess Mesopia are busy elsewhere. So I think we, we have to take this opportunity. Whilst they're busy sieging elsewhere, we have to move in. And I have done some more improvements. I've leveled this up to a level 2. I've imported stone, which means our forts are a little bit stronger. Down here as well, I've imported salt to make our forts a little bit stronger. So I think we should be in a better situation. Also, our navy can beat theirs, so we can blockade this coast as well now. So... Do we build, so the question is, do we keep our manpower and buy, buy mercenaries? I think we do keep our manpower and buy mercenaries. Because we have a lot, so we could probably buy both of these mercenary groups. And I think this is something that they addressed in um, a, not a dev diary maybe, but they've said on Twitter. They want to reduce the amount of mercenaries that are around the map because they're just really good and there's too many of them. So I think they're just going to, because manpower is like a really big issue in Imperator Rome, because it takes 10 years longer than EU4 to replenish your entire manpower pool. I think it's 25 years instead of 10. So I think they said they wanted to reduce the amount of, uh, the amount of mercenaries around the map just to make it, you have to rely on more of your own, of your own men rather than anything else. Oh, is this for Seleucids? Oh no, we died. That sucks. We'll pause it quickly. We died. So this guy's taken over. He's a 10994. He's amazing. He is really good. Like, really, really good. Ooh, a less aggressive expansion would be nice. Yeah, if it wasn't for this being so good, I would change them in an instant. Army maintenance cost. Oh, that's really good. But siege engineers, we need quicker sieging. We just need quicker sieging. So we'll do that. We need a new general for our army. He's seven. He gets more discipline as well, so I guess that's kind of good. The extra discipline probably makes up for him only being a seven commander. And then, do we go to war now? Do we move in for this right away? 33,000 manpower. They have no... Oh, yeah. They have no manpower now. We definitely do this. So, we uh, fabricate on this faction. 
Raptors. I mean, this is like this is a province we want to take as well. Meaning, I'm probably going to leave 20,000 here just to siege these guys quickly. So we have the war goal. And then we'll leave you guys. I need to move in and take this as quickly as I can. Yeah, okay. And we will get the blessing of uh, Ares as well for the 7% discipline. Which is very valuable. Quickly, just to double check. Everywhere is loyal. Yeah, all the provinces are loyal. But it's good. Generals are loyal as well, relatively. All the commanders. Okay, here we go. Time to get our revenge against the uh, against the Macedonians, I think. And we will hire... Do we need... I guess we don't hire these... Oh, we do want to get the, um, the clansmen up, though, as well. Um, so, yeah, let's do it. Let's do this. War it is. I'm also going to send... We'll actually slow it a little down a little bit as well. So, we'll move in and we'll take this settlement immediately. I'm actually going to send my fleet out... Uh, to control myself because we can beat their fleet and you actually get money from blockading enemy ports so i'm gonna do that um and then i guess you guys go if we can take this fort we basically win the war and they're busy up here in the north so i'm hoping we can maybe just take these two forts before they can even react they have zero manpower now so they can't build any they have a lot of money so they can buy mercenaries but i'm not sure how akin the ai is to doing that and I'm just going to let my, my manpower rise up, or my money rise up quickly as well. Um, we can't detach the siege as well because all these men are loyal. So we're going to have to take the max damage. But yeah, let's, uh, let's blockade them here. We should be blockading all of these ports, which will give us some good cash. We need a new religious researcher. That's all good. And what's our tech level? So we're 12, 11, 10, 11. They are pretty similar, but we're much better in military. So that's good. Yeah, Frisia suck. Egypt are on the same level as us. Carthage are kind of lagging behind. Yeah, okay, that's good. Oh no, we're no longer getting earthworks here, so we're missing out on our research. That's not good. Um, uh, let's pick up stone, though. So this way, we're getting a huge boost to our defenses, like a massive boost to our defenses. And oh crap, yeah, look at that. Mastodon just took all of that territory. So we're about to get all of our armies probably coming south very soon. They have 131 divisions. Oh, my lord. Get your ass over here. We need to take this quickly. If we can take this mountain fortress, we're fine. But yeah, you can see they're coming down fast. Take it, please. Just high roll. High roll, please. We have a 29% chance of them just surrendering. Just once in, once in my life, just roll really well. I'm also probably going to blockade them up here so I can see what's coming down. Just once in my life, roll amazingly. Oh my god, we got four siege engineers, so plus four to our... Oh, we're doing so good, come on. 43% chance of them just uh, surrendering. Just be lucky. Be lucky, come on, just do it. So you can see we just got some gold for blockading them. Oh, come on. What are we at now? A 57% chance we need this mountain fortress, like, now. Because they've got 131 divisions coming our way. That's probably mercenaries as well. Oh my god, come on. I just, as soon as we see the armies pouring in, I'm gonna not be. Yes, we took it, thank god. That's so good for us. Um, so, I mean, as soon as this is taken, Mastodon might just want to peace out. We could also take more land up here as well. We could make them release some factions as well. We are taking attrition, though, so we don't want to get out of this mountain fort. Um, I guess we can walk this way around now as well. And yeah, not take attrition here. Okay, good. About to take some more land as well, giving us more vision as well. So I don't know where the Macedonians are right now. They are at peace. I oh, know they're still. Oh, they're still fighting. They just took all. They just pieced out this faction. Okay, interesting. So maybe, maybe we'll try and take this territory up here. I mean, I definitely want. Okay, there they are. You guys still need to get your military organization back, but I. Um, I guess for now. Yeah, sure. Uh, I guess for now, we just move north. I mean, yeah, as I said, you guys need to get your organization back. We need to win this. But this could just be a really quick war. And the, the AI is probably likely to accept this as well. Oh, yeah, I need to siege this out quickly as well. The AI is probably pretty likely to accept any peace treaties I offer them. Just because they're in a massive war with everyone else as well. So their war exhaustion is probably really high. So we've got 28,000 mercenaries coming down. That should be okay because we'll have the mountain defense. You guys need to make your you, know, you guys need to reorganize first quickly. So we'll quickly reorganize just so that they get their uh, morale back 10% faster. It's a really useful tool right here. It's quite a lot of military power to spend, but it's worth it. 
Um, yeah. So if we just defend these mountains, see if they've got what a bunch. How many? Twenty-one thousand. I mean, in the mountains, we should be fine, and we don't need these mercenaries as well. Take them back. Good. Um, I mean, we have ten war score now. I doubt they'd give me all of this though, right? Yeah, they wouldn't give me all of this, and I, I want all of this. So, war of Mastodon continues, I guess. Are you guys basically at full morale. One more tick. Monthly ticks should do it. Okay, we need to, we can't let this fortress fall, and it should be really strong. Fort defense is minus fifteen. Why? The fort defense is modified by fifteen due to ignore garrison. Why do we? Why is the garrison ignored? Is that my bad? Did I do something? What did I do to ignore the garrison? I don't want to. Oh, I'm. Not, oh. Fuck, no wonder my forts have been so bad. I'm on bloody low fort maintenance. Oh, I'm an idiot. No wonder I was losing everything so quickly. That makes so much sense now. It's because it's been a couple days since I last recorded, so I just wasn't paying attention. Oh, wow, I'm an idiot. That's really bad. <laughs> That's re no wonder we were making so much money as well. Everything makes uh, sense now. So it looks like we're going to... Oh, no, they'd win. Okay, cool. Can we take some money from them as well? 100... Yeah, I'll take this. I'll have a quick war against Macedon. I'm happy with that. Because then I can sort out my fort situation. Um, oh, God. I can't believe I did that. Such a such a fool of a took. I mean, we don't really even need these mercenaries now. Um, so I guess we'll disband them. As we do no, no longer need them. Um, and I'll build my roads as well. So, yeah. Sorry, guys. That's a waste of money. But, hey... Um, and now let's turn our fort maintenance back on. I mean, it's no point doing it now. I mean, whatever. We'll just have it on in case I forget again. So our economy is probably going to shift. Yeah, we're going to be we're going to be losing money probably. Oh no, maybe not. We actually started making more money. Good. I can't believe that. Wow. No wonder the garrisons were so shit. I was like, why are these guys so bad? Um, and now we have an amazing front against Macedon. If when we fight them in the future to take Illyria. Because we basically have Mountain Fortress here, Mountain Fortress, Hill Fort. So all of this is basically protected now. The south is... I wanted to build a, uh, a fort here as well to, de to defend this. Because that will defend all of this. And we can destroy this island fortress. We don't need that. Um, nice. So our forts are good once again. I can't believe I messed that up. Um, and our armies are preparing. I'm probably going to build another 20k stack. Because uh, we have plenty of money. So I'm probably going to build a 20k stack somewhere. So it's just that we have 60,000 standing troops. I think that's fine. And then probably either... I mean, we can't fight Phrygia yet. Phrygia is going to be a major war we fight in the future, I think. But it's good to see that this region's a lot stronger. This region should be giving us a ton of money now that it's complete. So we just get a bunch more resources. But yeah, I think our next war is probably going to be in Italy again. Maybe against these guys. Oh no. Yeah, when we fight a war in Italy, it's going to be massive. For sure. We were the declare war, yeah. Mesopia would join because they're guaranteeing. Okay, cool. Well, looks like we're going to have a big old war in Italy very soon. Because Macedon can kind of go on the back burner for now. I feel like I've taken all the territory I want from them. I mean, killing these guys is also going to be a, a war and a half for sure. But for now, things are looking good. Epirus is looking clean. And hopefully you guys are enjoying this series so far. If you are, be sure to drop a like and a comment down below. Be sure to hit that bell notification and I'll see you guys in the next one.